Hello everyone, this is Daphne Tet, and if you are watching this, that means I have successfully hit 500 subscribers. Woohoo. Go me. It is my birthday. So for today's video, I've decided to do something special involving my Vigs Animal Crossing Island. It involves the camera feature, which has been recently updated with this handheld mode, which lets you see the world as your little Animal Crossing villager person sees it in first person. So I'm going to fight against the controls and try to show you as much of my island as I can in the first person. So this is my entrance. I've entered. Why am I going so slow? Okay, I can't deja vu my way through this. So we step back. These are my cutouts. We have Baudemy troglodytes, and then... Oh, can you not see that? Yeah, there's the Aya cutout. I put it behind some rocks, so... Okay, yeah, there's a palm tree. Palm tree! And... Go over here, there should be another palm tree. And I put some fences here, because I had fencing needed to put it somewhere. See, here's Rod's house. He's the newest addition to the Viggs Island crew. He's in his home right now. I forgot when I put that Matryoshka there. As you can see, I have my streets lined with these pink and black flowers for aesthetic. And over here is the Rainbow Garden. Here I have a bunch of different color flowers put in order by color. Okay, you can't change it. You can't see like all the red and orange flowers at the end. Hold up. You can see the orange ones, kind of. So let's go to the right. We pass Rod's house again. See, so put some fencing there. We got some apple trees. There's Jacob fishing. Here we got Mira. And some more flowers. Here's the big lake I put in the middle of the island. I call it Vig's Lagoon. It was way smaller, but I decided to expand it after removing some water to make land bridges. Here's Jacob's house, surrounded by Jacob's ladders. He gets hedges. And this is just a street that cuts through here. And if you look to your right, you will see the altar, which I created. My intent, my original intent with this is just to go up there and sit down and watch over the peons that live on this island, but I've never gotten around to it. See, we've got some candles as an offering you can see through here. We've got bouquets of flowers and chocolates, a bunch of signs pointing to it. Then we step to the right, and then we go down this street. Have you named the streets? You see, I have fences laying in the streets. I got flowers, and then I got fences, and this is my house. And that's the sound of Eugene, the musical boy. Let's meet him, shall we? And I just have some roses planted outside my house. And a dollhouse. Roses, dollhouse, painting, butterfly model. Let's say hi to Eugene. He loves being watched. He's a smug boy. I think I got his attention. Hello, Eugene. Sing for me, Eugene. Moving on. Show you some of the random shit I have decorating my beach. A B press is canceled, I better not. Yeah, I just got a pool and this chair and a bonfire. More palm trees, a water cooler. This is just where I put random shit. I have a couple of baby chairs surrounding this cauld this burning cauldron, a couple more bug models, a Bowser flag, and some gyroids. R4 appreciation post. Bottom text. Too bad it's being blocked by the other guy. So we let's go around the beach, shall we? Yeah, I got some more random shit stone table log bench. Why can't I go faster? Maybe if we pass Eugene again, he'll say hello again. Just keep walking back, 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 back. Where is he? He's just chilling. Some rocks, got some clotheslines and an ironing board. 
I call it the laundry rock. I got a punching bag, some bushes, a bamboo basket, and I'm up against something, a palm tree. Ah, oh, yes. I think, I think these, I, what the months ago, I think they're called like the cryptica, and they're like supposed to represent like the four corners of the island and the four elements, and this is earth. Then I got water, fire, and air that are around here somewhere. And right next to it is the beach relaxation spot. It's surrounded by fences, seats, got a nice place to chill. You got a weight bench and stools. It's all nice and tropical. I got some candles back there. I really just throw furniture onto my island without thinking about it. Can I get past this fence? Okay. And we got another pool, a butter churn, a lifeguard chair, and a palm tree. Okay, I can't get past there. So that's like the southern edge of the island, like the southeast part. Oh, here's Kabuki. Hello, Kabuki. Say hi, Kabuki. Kabuki's not interested. Kabuki is interested. Hello, Kabuki. Kabuki. Okay, let's take a picture of Kabuki. Where are you going, Kabuki? Kabuki, no! Yeah, I got a bench, a chair, this wheel of fortune thing. Go past this table with the ant farm, and here's my museum. Look at it. It's a museum if you've ever seen one. And on the other side, more random furniture. Another. Who's that? Mira. Her name's Mira, but I like to call her airplane sounds. Mira, I'm trying to I'm trying to give a tour. Mira, you want a picture? Mira? Mira? Which button is it? I think it's this one. Mira! That is a flattering angle. She's got a hat on, so I can't really see her ears. She's in front of Lionel's. Mira, are you alright? I'm gonna assume she's alright. And here's Kabuki's house. And of course, we've got the world-famous Viggs Island Vibe Center. The center of all vibes on this island. They just converge here. This is what the Cryptica were built for. Vibes of water, earth, fire, and air converge on this spot. And also the altar, but I'm not going to get so deep into that lore. Maybe when I hit a thousand subscribers, I'll do a Viggs Island lore video. Just why do we call Jacob a demon? The answer may surprise you. And there's a bridge. I think I'll cross the bridge. There's the bridge. Uh, yeah, more flowers. Got another gyroid. It's a happy boy. Forgot his name. We have Soleil's house. Looks like Soleil's inside. And if I step backwards, you will see my crops. These are new. These were added after the update, obviously. Still waiting for the sugar cane, but leaves just like, ha ha ha. Carrots go brrrr. Should I show you the random shit on this beach too? As you can see, I have a trash can. I always just use the one in the plaza. I should show my plaza. I put an anchor there. And also, yes, these iron bars. And also a couch. Gotta maneuver myself this way. I think it's like called a wave breaker. On this beach. Maybe it's blocking something. I put it like right up to the water so we probably won't be able to see it. Another palm tree and I think the fire cryptica should be right here. No, that's a triceratops fire. You, you can see the custom design down there. If we move in, we've got some more bushes. Just move in. If you look to the right, you can see Eugene's house and also Bangles. Here you can see the little custom designs I put by each of their houses if you step back a little. I think I'm standing in the crops now. And then we move forward down this road to the woman, the legend. Okay, Megan herself is in here right now, but this is her house. 
wait. Have I caught her attention? Megan! Oh, wait, I can't see her. Megan! Where? There she be? Oh, I think she's doing exercise bear. Megan exercising. Lovely. Really should have gotten a picture of Kabuki. This is Marina's house. Can't step far back enough to get the... What's it called? The custom design. Oh yeah, I put another boy here. I just placed him today. Say hello. He's not much of a talker. Oh, there he is. So we'll just show you the ground level before getting up to the cliffs. Here we have the tea room, even though it's not a room and just more furniture. I use stumps for seats and I put a trophy case right next to it because I thought it fit. And it got a beep hive and also this stall. It's black with pink flowers on it and I think that's really cool. I have I'm trying to get like a color scheme going off my life. These are just cliffs. They're cliffs. And this, if we can get to it, is where we come across the rock garden. This took me like a month to get all the rocks just in this general area. We got these shrubs here are fairly new. What I do is I, hold on wrong way, I, I bury a gyroid fragment in the middle of the square so that I know, hey, this is a gyroid, not a fossil. Keeps me from getting faked out. So yeah, I've got all these winding paths going through all the rocks and all of these stone recipes. If I make a stone recipe, I'm most likely to put it here. There's something impossible. Yes, that rock, this rock, every rock. I got a fountain in the middle. I want to see if you can see it. Fountain! Sometimes it does a big thing where it goes up like psh. So we move to the right. I think we're like on the road now. So yeah, here we come across our shops we got. Whoops, that rotates it. I guess you just gotta move your whole ass body to get to the left. Able sisters, your one and only place for clothing needs. I got a shell fountain and Nook's cranny is right here. And here's my windflower patch. This is where I moved all my windflowers to after I planted the crops. It's a lot of windflowers. And here we just have the North Beach. Oh, I haven't shown you through the canal, have I? We'll get to it eventually. Rocks. Oh, I think this is where I put the water pump. Again, it's right behind a lake, so you won't be able to see it unless I get really far away. And here we have the North east corner. If you can get far enough, we might be able to see the water cryptica. Water! I'm gonna put a bed there. There's a beach right here. Random furniture, throw it on the beach. And here we have a playground. It's pretty difficult to navigate. Where am I? I might have to get out of camera mode for this one. Let's go back on the handheld. This is my playground. It's got playground things, obviously, and it's surrounded by a fence. Got a DIY workbench here. You never know when you have to do DIY. And here's another beach. Tricycle. Can I move around the tricycle? And a barbell. Go back across this bridge. More flowers. There's some stuff behind the plaza too. Got this record player. I just have some pumpkins here, but now it's not pumpkin season anymore. It's okay, I, I still have some plants with the rest of my crops. And I think, yep, welcome to the plaza, motherfucker. 
Christmas is... Oh yeah, Kabuki left the plaza. Have I taken you along this northern road? Got a cock house and a panda, a snowflake. All very nice, yes. Do, 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 do. Hear footsteps. Maybe they're mine. Oh, hello, Kabuki. Get your fucking picture taken. And he's gone. Camera shy. So many Kabuki pictures. Come on, Kabuki. Moving on. Because we can only take so many Kabuki pictures. Yeah, we've got a bridge leading that way, I think. I'll use that bridge to get to the cliffs. Yeah, and if you go around this tree, that'll lead you to the, whoops, to the stairs that go up onto the first cliff. Have another boy. Yeah, this is where I've just got a bunch of flowers here too. Look at them, all these nice flowers. The trees are decorated. My back hurts from sitting in this position too long. Ooh. Look. There's one. Say hi. Hi. Crash into another tree. Next we have the stone fucking diner. The legendary stone diner. Just a diner, except everything's made of stone and my arms are getting tired. Oh, back out of that. You don't need to see the entire stone diner, do I? I feel like you got the general gist. And... Flowers, flowers. On the other side of this river, I like to call it Sleepy Time Hollow because it's got this rose bed and I've got stale cupcakes playing on this. And it's got flowers and it's real nice and pretty. And I feel like you could get a good night's sleep here, even though you're right next to these gigantically loud waterfalls. I think I'll see if it can not go last. Now go back around here. More panties. Yes, I built this little campground here just to fill in some space on the cliff. I got a kid's tent, a few benches, and this campfire here. Except you can't go like all the way around. You have to like go back this way. Makes it a bit difficult to navigate just like with these first person controls. Imagine if they made an Animal Crossing game that's like first person each have a completely different way of, like, navigating things. It's like I said at the beginning. This video is just a fight with the controls. Beep, 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 backing up, backing up. Imagine if you could, like, look in 360 degrees. Animal Crossing first person 360. It'll be the most immersive experience Animal Crossing's ever brought to us. Nintendo, take notes. Yes, more trees. Give me all the trees. Uh, then I think this leads us to another set of stairs, bamboo lamps, it'll take you down this wooden path, say hi to that DIY bench, hello DIY bench, you go through these bamboo trees, it's supposed to be like all mystical and stuff, then you find a tribute to some of my favorite Bestest boys. Okay, the best boyless is best seen from a bird's eye view. I think switch to that. Yes, yeah, so we got them all. We got. Can't really read them from this angle. I think. What is that? Best boyless. Shoto Todoroki, Izuku Midoriya, Kazuichi Soda, Byaki Togami, Nagito Kamaida. Yusuke Kirakawa, Akira Kurusu, Karma Akabane, and Goro Akechi. And, if, and it is decorated by effigies of the best girls, Luna. 
and I put like a bench here and some zen cushions so you can just admire it. It's like a picnic spot. A picnic spot all of the bestest. And here's my campsite. Put it right next to the best boy list so that anyone who stays here knows what Vix is all about. And on the other side of this river is just some cosmos and bamboo trees. There's a second cliff I want to show you. Should I exit camera mode to make this faster? And here we have the Viggs Canal, decorated with lilies of the valley in the valley. And it leads us to the northern beach. Where we have the one, the only, box photo on a custom design titled Fire. The only other photo I have come from is Kabuki's, and I made a shrine for it. So yes, I might have a few favorite villagers. We back it up. Mm, hold on. Yes, stairs. This is just a quick walkway. See, I got my gold roses there. Go up these stairs to the side, and you get this neat observation deck. And I put some more benches on it. I have a lot of benches. It's got some bamboo trees. Can I show you the Western Beach? Seems like it's all wrapped up nicely, but I feel like I gotta show you. Yeah, the air crypticas up that way. Where's, uh, there's, where was I? So I just like clipping through Megan's house. Yeah, the western beach, there's not much to look at on the western beach. I showed you up to the fire cryptica. You might be able to see it again. Okay, this way is the pier with Cap'n. Oh, uh, it's got the shell bed. Am I in the- no, I'm not in the water now. That's where you can go to the left. Here, I gotta look down for this. Yeah, there's the pier. Get some pictures of Captain. Let's- yeah, that's totally his good side. Show us that chin, boy. We can go back up the western beach. This time we're walking forward. It should be easier. I haven't found today's message in a bottle. Maybe it's up this way. Or maybe it's on the part that's like in the blind spot. I really wish this were faster. So yeah, it's got shells. And on this this rock, I've got a rockhead statue and this outdoor bath. Because I figured the rock garden was kind of running out of room. It's got more palm trees. You really gotta be a trooper if you're gonna make it up the western beach. I basically neglected this part of the island. And yes, the air cryptica. Water, earth, fire, air. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony, but then everything changed when Al 